Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean. And I'm here today to guide you through an awesome Tabata hit circuit. I was gonna say, this class has no jumping. And then I remembered that we're gonna do this awesome one minute cardio challenge between moves. So we'll get our little 10 second break and then we'll take a minute cardio challenge cardio challenge ideas can range from jumping jacks maybe you're going to go for some jumping jacks maybe you want to go for some fast feet maybe you want to do some high knees maybe you want to do some high knee skips i just demoed those and said the opposite thing my brain is so monday today but we're going to work out and we're going to have a great time so you should find some weights if you have heavier weights or let's rephrase that I want you to find the weight that brings you the best challenge so that you can work out safely and smart and if you don't have any weights that's also okay in which case you're gonna focus a little bit more on the high intensity of the moves since you can move a little bit faster but those of us who do have weights I want you to really think about moving mindfully knowing that you're gonna get a break soon. So that's why I'm suggesting those heavier weights. Word. Okay, so we start at 4.30, which is three minutes from right now. Make sure you have some water. If you have an opportunity to turn music on, please turn on any sort of music that makes you feel like you are ready to bump it just to work hard. You'll feel it. Yay! I thank you for coming. You should thank yourself for coming. We're going to have an amazing time together. I hope. Okay. I'm going to refill my water a little. Three minutes. Three minutes starting right at 4 30. One minute, one minute till go. Feel free to start getting in any stretches or movement that you know feels good for you. Started nice and slow. 
Just going to get our usual little lateral side to side step tap. Start thinking about drawing that core in, pulling your belly button back towards your spine. Just a couple more times around in this direction, really squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then let's go ahead and change direction of those shoulder circles. Whew, feels so good to get up from the desk and just start moving a little bit. Feeling a little tight. Maybe feeling a little stress from the holiday season. Maybe you did or didn't do something that you enjoyed. I hear ya. <laughs> All right, awesome. Let's make these circles a little bit bigger. Plant those feet. Big circles as wide as feels comfortable for you. You can take a slight bend in your knee because I want you to still think about drawing that belly button in. Now let's change the direction of those circles if it feels better. You can also do one arm at a time. I know I find that a lot easier for myself. Somewhat tight shoulders. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna keep warming these shoulders and upper body up because they're gonna burn today. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, I'm gonna even look at a timer so that we're not gonna be so super mean. We've got about 30 seconds of a couple different moves, starting with your arms at the side by 90 degrees, slight bend in your knees. We're just gonna raise up to shoulders height and bring it back down. Turning to the side, I want you to see that I have my elbows slightly drawn back. So they're just not in front of my body. They're right in line with my shoulder. So I can keep that chest nice and lifted. I can keep that belly in. My pelvis is slightly tucked under. We got just about 10 seconds and then we're gonna remain in this up position. You should have the weight in your heels. The balls of your feet are down on the floor, but your toes might slightly lift. Let's stay up. Awesome, rotate up. We're gonna reach up and pull down. You can pull these elbows down as low as feels good for you. Exhale on the way down, inhale on the way up. Big breaths. This is just the warm up, it's not about speed just yet. Oh, starting to feel it. Five more seconds right here. I told you we're Warming up those shoulders. Let's go ahead and bring our hands into a goal post. Still keeping those elbows drawn back, chest open, belly tight. We're gonna do like those, you know, those good luck cats. Bringing that exhale down and inhale up. Working to get your thumbs in line with your ear. I know it burns. We've got this. We've got just about 10 more seconds. Three, two, stay right here with hands, palms to the floor and just pulse it back. Shoulders away from ears, pull that belly in again. More than halfway, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, I mean eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, oh my gosh, that feels so good. Let's go ahead and tap it out. Bring that opposite arm up. I want you to extend through. Find a nice big reach. So stretch through those fingers, warming up a little bit more of those side bodies for four more on each side. Three, two, one. Sweep that arm forward and across your body. Still keeping that stomach sucked in. Really warming up that middle shoulder area. Oh, I feel that stretch. Three, two, one. Reach down to your opposite toe. You can take that bending your knees. You can even shift your hips slightly if you need to. Four more each side. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. I want you to slowly roll it up. Inhale those arms up overhead. Beautiful. 
All right, so as we stand up, we're gonna draw these arms down and back, just like we had in the second part of our little warm up. You can step your feet closer as we inhale. We're gonna reach through those fingers and stretch hips back for a squat. So inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Four more. Inhale down, exhale up. Three, stretch those hips back. Two, last one. Nice work, come down to the edge of your mat. Last move of our warm up, pulling that belly in tight. We're going to inchworm forward. Then we're gonna drop our hips into a nice big, oh my gosh, up dog. Send them back up. I want you to bend your knees into a squat and then stand up, squeeze your glutes at the top. Belly tight, hinge forward, walk yourself out. Allow those hips to come down and forward. Stretch up into up dog. Tuck those toes back under, send your hips up, walk forward, bend those knees, weight in your heels, press through, squeeze and lift. Bring those arms up overhead one more time. Exhale down. Walk yourself out, hands, palms under shoulders, shift shoulders forward. You can drop your knees to the floor and then stretch your pubic mound down to the mat to lift up. Oh, that sounds so gross, doesn't it? And then send your hips up towards the ceiling. Walk yourself back in. Go ahead, bend those knees, hips down, literally like sitting on the couch, and then press yourself up, arms up overhead. You're amazing. Okay, so that was our warm up. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warm. We're gonna get right into our work. So I want you to find the weight that's right for you. Maybe grab a sip of water. We're starting off with single arm rows. We're gonna do two, one minute on this side, one minute on this side, and then come on back. Come on back. Okay. All right, so finding the weight that works for you. Oh, surprise, we're adding in a deadlift with this single arm row. So standing with your feet about shoulders width distance apart, you can take that slight bend in your knees. You're going to hinge forward in your deadlift. Find that big row. So elbow leads to the side all the way down with your arms squeeze your glute to lift up squeeze at the top and then back down row beautiful we're gonna do um two on this side and then we'll hit the opposite side so start with whichever side you want to in three two one begin so belly tight hinge forward into your deadlift to row arm all the way down squeeze glute at the top then you can bend that knee Row flat back, eyes are gonna stay forward. Your palm is facing towards you the whole time. Take a break. It's a very short interval. It's a short interval. I thought about making it 40 seconds. We're gonna switch things up in the new year. Same thing again. All right, so I'm gonna give you that option if you really don't want to, to rest. Well, I should have done it the first time through. Not gonna give you that option. I lied. I want you to really think about sending those hips gently back in this um, RDL. Are you keeping the weight in your heels? I hope so. Take a break. Maybe finish out that one. And then let's switch and get the opposite side. Two on the opposite side. Then we're going to add some balance into this. Begin. All right. So we got that Romanian deadlift. Squeeze at the top. As we move through, if you don't want to take that extra 10 second break between uh, these deadlifts. If you want to work for a full 50 seconds, just get a little bit extra work. That's an option for you. All right, we got one more on this side. Then we're going to switch back to the right and add that balance in or the left. And we're just going to switch. All right, three, two, belly tight. Take that hinge and begin. So hinge forward, elbow leads close by your side, lift up. Make sure you're using that breath. Make sure you're not holding your breath, enjoying that flat back. Now, the lower that you get your chest towards your knees, the more, take a break, flat you are towards the floor, the harder that this row is gonna be. We're gonna make it harder still by coming onto the toe of our opposite leg, 
change the balance, begin. So still, hinge forward, RDL, I bet you feel that in your glute a little bit more. Remember, you have the option to work through this 10 second break. I'm gonna work through it with you. Just gonna give this some positive encouragement, but don't worry, I'll let you know. Right now, if you need to take that break, you take that break. I should have been using a heavier weight, but I didn't. Come in again or keep going. We got 20 more seconds right here. Then we're gonna switch to the opposite side. Ooh, keep pressing through that heel of the foot that you have fully grounded on the floor and make sure you're squeezing those glutes at the top. Oh, all right. Switch into that other side. You can shake it out. Beautiful. Come into your balance. Pull your belly in, hinge forward and begin. So uh, RDL, row, stand up, squeeze. Keep pressing through that heel. Keep sending that glute gently back behind you. You can totally bend your knee. It's gonna work, take a break if you want or keep going. It's just gonna work a little bit differently. It's a little, a little harder to have that straight leg. Come back in, 20 more seconds right here. This is the last of it, in it to win it. Then we got a 10 second break and we're doing one minute of jumping jacks. Four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, 10 second break. Get my other timer. Jumping jacks or any sort of cardio that you want. Start in three. Begin. Now, if you don't want to jump, you can always step your feet side to side. You can move at a slower pace. You can do a slow jack. If you can do a faster jack, we're just working to get that heart rate up a little bit between each round. Still breathing. Wouldn't it be funny if shaking this timer made it not move? Just kidding. It's still going. We're more than halfway right now. See if you can land light on those toes. Next move, trying to eliminate big breaks today. If you need to take a longer break, you take it. We're gonna come on down to the floor. We got a plank, 20 seconds of work. That's it, just 20 seconds of work. Okay. You can be on your straight arms, you can be on your forearms. My wrists are a little tired. So I'm gonna come on down to straight arms, I mean forearms, Monday. <laughs> You can be on your knees if you need to, decide whatever you want. Get back in if you need to take a break. We start in three, two, one. I want you to not have those hips high. I want you to pull that lower belly in. Already more than halfway. Just find one spot to focus your eyes. Press your hands, palms, or those elbows into the floor for three, two, one. Take your break. Maybe send your hips back towards your heels for a little bit of child's pose. Shake it out. We start again. Same thing. Three, two, begin. So once again, make sure you don't have those hips up towards the ceiling. You're squeezing those glutes. You're pulling that belly in. Halfway right now. You got this. Don't give up on yourself. If you got some music going, sing along to the music. Three, two, one. Awesome. Next up, you can keep doing the same thing. We're going to add in a rolling plank. So either staying on your forearms or straight arms, just a side plank coming in. Begin. So roll into the side, extending one arm up. So good. Still really working to keep those hips nice and low. 
This one's about moving with control. And take a break. Yay. All right, 20 seconds down. Doing the same thing one more time. In three, two, one, begin. Find that big extension up to the sky. Almost there. The last couple of moments. You made it. Great. We're going to add the challenge, this next one, by turning it into an elevator plank. So forearms and then straight arms. Begin. If you need to come down onto your knees, that's totally fine. Sometimes I need to come onto my knees to press myself up and then come back on my toes to lower myself down. You find the challenge where you can. Three, two, one. I would rather that you do something that allows you to keep moving than you just stop. So find that inner you and begin. Why did you come today? What are your goals? How can you incrementally work a little bit harder to get there? You don't have to do everything on day one. Oh. Yay! All right, last round. We're gonna go for that side plank and then we're gonna raise our upper leg. So you might need to drop your lower leg down. Begin. Roll to the side. If you can, just lift that leg. I need a little bit of support with my lower knee coming to the floor. I'm just gonna work to lift that leg a little bit higher, getting a little side glute work. Take a break. Awesome, one more time. This is so fun. Three, two, one, go for it. Maybe, maybe you can get that leg up without putting your lower leg down this round. Your body knows what the move is, so sometimes it makes it easier. Maybe one side stronger than the other. You can take a break, I'm gonna finish it out. Awesome. Five seconds to get to your feet if you're joining me for a cardio challenge. Begin. Oh, I need the timer. I'm gonna come for some high knees this time. I'm gonna be honest, the high knees are not my strong suit. So I'm switching between a little bit of a skip. And the best that I can do is some actual high knees. Just doing the best that you can with the body that you have today. If you know you're challenging yourself, that's all that matters. You have nothing to prove to anyone but you. So tell yourself, I'm going to bring it. I got you, boo. Tell you, I got you to you. Oh, we made it through that minute. Awesome. Give you a little itty bitty break. Itty bitty break, you get a minute. You get a minute, and you get a minute, and you get a minute, and I get a minute. I'm gonna take an active break. I am feeling real sore, and I know there's no music playing. But this is the music in my mind. Oh, my lower half is super sore, super sore. Whew. That's all right. That means it's working. <laughs> that means it's working. Okay, get ready. We're almost done with this break. And we're going to come down to the floor. So I'm just going to make my way there. And I'm going to ask you to bring a weight with you. I'm not going to use it right away. We are, however, going to use it 
for a row towards the end. So just be ready for that. All right, next up we've got push-ups. So the first two rounds are just going to be push-ups. You can do your push-ups on your knees. You can do your push-ups on your toes. I don't care what's happening with the lower half of your body, but I really want you to focus on making sure that the upper half of your body is coming down towards the mat first. So whether that means that you're even here in tabletop and just working to really bring those shoulders forward of your fingertips as opposed to being all the way out here and coming into up dog. We're not doing up dog. We are working a little bit of those triceps and those shoulders in push-ups. So elbows are going to come close by your side. 20 seconds to do the best that you can today. Starts in three, two, one. Begin. So maybe you can press up on your toes and then come down onto your knees. Because remember, you're doing the best that you can today. But if you notice that you're peeling yourself off of the mat, like one vertebrae at a time, as opposed to pushing up, and pushing down, then bring those knees down. Take a break. If you don't want to take a break, you can work through this 10 seconds right here and get a full 50 seconds of push up. Three, two, one. Begin again or keep going. I'm going to take that break on push ups because I already told you that my wrists are, are sore. And you know what? I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm going to work out hard. So I'm going to be smart and take that break today. Three, two, one. Awesome. 10 more seconds for you to rest up. All right, so next up, we're going to go for a push up with a shoulder tap. So hanging out for a second. Begin hanging out for a second in that plank. Push up. Be in that plank. Shoulder tap. Push up again. Shoulder tap. Try not to let your hips rock side to side as you tap that opposite shoulder. So really pulling your belly in, squeezing those glutes. You can work through this one. I'll work through it with you. We can get a full 50 seconds in round two. If you took a break, come back in. 20 more seconds. Make sure that you're bringing chest and shoulders down first. Five seconds left. Yay, all right. Next up, we've got an uneven push-up. So grab the weight that you're using for your row. We're just gonna do a push-up with it this time through. So just going down and pressing yourself up. The row is gonna come in in the very next round. One time, just getting used to this uneven push-up. Awesome, you're gonna switch hands. Put the weight in your other hand this time. Oh, hello, sweat droplet. Three, two, one, begin. Push up, lower down. Be in control here. Awesome, switch the weight back to your original hand. This time we've got that uneven push-up, adding in a row. Three, two, one. So push-up, row, and so on, and so forth. Last one on each side right now. This is the last of the moves in the push-up position for today. Oh, take a break. I owe myself one. Awesome. Other side. Huzzah. Two. One. Begin. Oh. My left side. Try not to lean too much into your opposite hand as I just horribly demonstrated. Yay, take a break, make your way to your feet. We got five seconds before our next little cardio push. Get that heart rate up. Three, two, one. One minute, 
I'm going for fast feet this round. You can still be doing jumping jacks. You can do those high knees. Just offering you some variety. It's the spice of life. I'm still gonna get my arms moving though. Because it feels good. Especially after those push-ups. We got triceps after this. So just, you know, relax those upper bodies. Maybe you shake it out a little bit. Maybe some runner's arms. Side to side. Whoa. Oh no. Turns out it didn't have the timer going. <laughs> Let's go over about 15 more seconds. Congratulations. This was most likely over a minute. Three, two, one. Uh, grab a quick sip of water. Let's come into our next move. We'll take a little break after that. Okay, so we're gonna come back down to the floor. We got some tricep work. So I'm switching to a lighter weight. Um, we got two different ways that we're going to do the same move, basically. So for the first tricep move, we're gonna be on our knees. We're gonna to come to this 45 degree angle, squeezing those shoulder blades together. You're just gonna extend back with your palms facing in for the first two. For the next one, palms are going to face forward slash down. It might be a little bit harder to get that weight up. You have been warned, palms facing in for the first one starts in three, two, one, begin. So belly tight, just stretch back and in. If you're gonna hold for a second, do your best to hold on the extension, really lifting those pinkies up towards the ceiling. We've only got 10, I mean, 20 seconds of work total, so find that pace that works. And already we're at that break. If you wanna work through it, I'll come back in and work through this one with you. Uh, three, two, jump back in if you're just going for the true to bad interval of 20 seconds. Shoulders away from ears, bellies pulled in tight, pressing those knees down into the floor. Three, two, one. Awesome, take your break. So next up, we're just gonna turn those wrists over. So you can still extend back and then rotate as you extend. Ooh, begin. So as you come back, extend almost like you're flying. Just feeling it a little bit more in the forearms as well. Oh. Three, two, one, or option to work through it if you wanna get a full 50 seconds of work. If your weights are really light, if this feels really easy, go for that extra 10 seconds and jump back in. Those of us going for true Tabata style. So just rotating at the wrists at the back. Oh my gosh. Don't let those shoulders creep too much up to your ears. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna go back to our original move of just extending back, but we're gonna add in a little bit of a pulse. Three, two, one. So extend, pulse, in. Back, pulse, in. A little extra time with that nice straight arm behind us oh my gosh now if you want to work through this upcoming beep and go for 50 seconds more power to you I'm gonna take this break I'm gonna shake it out that's right check out those bat wings here we go begin again I don't care because you know what get that double pulse I know I'm strong I love my body how it is right now and all the amazing things it can do for me. And I hope that, oh, you feel the same. If you're looking for a little more gratitude, take a break. Or if you're trying to make a change, let me know. Sign up for our Rock Your Resolution Challenge. Three, two, is still finding this pulse, but this time, palms facing down.
need to completely put your weight down. Oh my gosh, and just find the movement. Take a break. You're welcome to do that. You can work through these 10 seconds. We got one more round of this coming up. Three, two, one. All right, press it back. Shoulder blades are squeezed in towards each other. Pull that belly in tight again. Halfway right now. Keep going, find that one spot, focus your eyes. Remind yourself why you came, push yourself right here, last moment. You made it, oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh yeah, stand up, stand up. All right, this time I'm gonna add in a big old broad jump. Oh yeah, the timer. Oops, that's two minutes. All right, big old broad jump, shuffle back. Getting a nice little squat in here. I feel like I missed, I feel like I missed a move. I'm gonna have to check out the computer and see what I told you was coming up today. Cause I thought we had some squats with overhead presses. Oh my gosh, more than halfway. those heels up if you're doing a shuffle with me and I just increase my shuffle time because as long as you're moving that's all that matters still find a movement take a break okay just gonna consult the internet with what I said we're doing planks roll plank push up tricep Oh yeah, okay, okay, it's coming up. It's coming up. All right, we got a Russian twist. We're gonna relax our lower halves a teeny bit. Don't worry, I still found a way for us to work our upper body. And that is right, I did promise you a one minute break, it starts right now. Get some water. In the interest of getting it all in, I'm gonna start talking to you in 20 seconds. All right, if you're feeling a little out of breath like me, just work slow down your exhale, make it a little bit longer than your inhale, and we're gonna do this. Okay, we got a couple different moves that we're gonna do in our Russian twist. We're gonna start off with just a Russian twist. So feet are gonna be on the floor. If you have a weight, if you wanna use a weight, I encourage you to challenge yourself to find a heavy weight. And get ready to twist from side to side. But you might want to have some other weights around because we're going to change it up every minute. Get ready to change it up. All right. First interval starts. Plant those feet. Lift that chest nice flat back in three, two, one. Begin. Now, if using a weight here to find this reach side to side already has you groaning, just put the weight down. And if it doesn't, then you can lean back a little bit here for our first interval, because the more that you lean back while keeping that chest lifted and pulling your belly in, the further you reach those hands back behind you as well, the more you're gonna get those obliques and abs. Take a break. And it's just 10 seconds, I mean 20 seconds. Um, if you wanna work a little bit harder, pick those feet up off the floor right now and begin. So remember, you can stay where we started if that was the challenge that worked for you. Or you can add on, increase the challenge. Five seconds left, last couple moments right here. Three, two, you made it. Awesome, all right, we're gonna bring a challenge back again, so you might wanna plant your feet as we twist. Press up to the sky and twist again, begin. Reach right up to the ceiling, right over your chest. We just planted that feet because we're challenging your balance a little bit differently. So I want you to think about really engaging your abs right now. Awesome. Now you have that option to pick those feet up for round two. Same thing. Three, 
two, one, still lifting that chest up. So not, no rounding here, big lift through the chest, shoulders are pulled down and back. If your back is hurting, if you're struggling, put those feet down on the floor. Yay. All right, we're gonna mix it up even more. Oh, this time we're gonna keep the weight slightly distanced the whole time. So instead of bringing, begin, instead of bringing it in, keep it the same distance away from you. You won't be able to twist back quite as much oh, to touch the floor. Still see if you can bring it up to chest height. Three, two, Take a break. Wow. That one's a challenge. Three, two, same thing. If you want to pick those feet up, you can pick them up. I'm going to keep my feet planted on the floor. I'm going to focus a little bit more on that twist, which I know I would not be able to get with my feet up. My chest, my upper body is starting to feel tired. Three, two, one. Take a break. Awesome. All right, we're going to come back to just the regular simple twist side to side. This time we're going to involve our legs if you want to. Going for bicycle legs. Begin. So this one takes a little bit more of a lean back. Still work to keep that chest lifted. Bring in those heels as close to the floor as you can. Driving those knees a little in towards the chest as well. Three, two, one. Take a break if you hated that. Pick whichever one of the moves that we did in the last six previous rounds and do that again. One more time through. Three, two, begin. Oh, bringing this weight up a little bit higher makes it more challenging. Heads up. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, find your way to your feet. We got our last official move on our feet today as well. One more time with that cardio. Minute push in three, two, one, begin. I'm gonna go for some high knees. I'm gonna shuffle side to side. I'm gonna go back to some high knees. And I'm gonna jack it in the back. A little bit of everything. <laughs> I recorded a class earlier today. It had no sound, no sound for a delightful hour of class. It was good for me. Good for me. Not good for anyone who wanted to follow along. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Grab a quick sip of water. We got one last move. We're doing some squats. Squats into overhead presses. You know what? We're gonna cut it down to just four rounds because we've only got about five minutes left. Oh, and you know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna cut it down to three rounds. And we're gonna increase the time. I'm not telling you to what. You're welcome. That sounds randomly perfect. Okay, so for our very first round, grabbing hold of some weights, bam, bam. We're going to squat, press, that's it. Round one is just a simple squat and a simple press. We start in three, two, one, three rounds. They're honestly about 32 seconds. Uh, timer. You're wasting my time, timer. Oh, I was pushing the wrong button. Okay, begin. So squat, press, 
press through your heels. Use that lift up to help get that weight up to your shoulders. Round two, we're gonna go for a single squat, double press. Almost there. You still get a nice 10 second break. Three, two, awesome. 10 seconds. Three, two, add in a double overhead press. So squat, press, press, bring it down. Squat, double press. I told you we're really focusing on those shoulders today. 10 seconds left right here. It's just 10 seconds more than your regular interval. Oh, I think I added in a third. Awesome, take a break. Well, you know why I added in that third, because we're gonna add in a third, but we're gonna do two squats. Really stand up through those heels, begin. Two squats, two, then three. One, two, you're working out the pace that your weights dictate. If you have no weights, you're just going for two squats and then you're throwing those arms up in the air. Whoa, like you are thrilled that this is the last big circuit of the day. You know we got one minute of abs. We're gonna get it. Before we start our cool down, we're gonna get right down to the floor for those abs. Yay, hit the floor right now. Oh, bring those weights with you. I need to switch to a slightly lighter weight. All right, it's here. We got one minute of work to go. We're going to go for glute bridge overhead. We're hanging out in the glute bridge and we're just gonna bring alternating arms up overhead for a big lat pullover. I'll give you a couple extra seconds to watch me. It looks like this. So pressed up, arms straight up overhead. You're gonna bring one arm down at a time and then the other arm down at a time. And you can stay right here. Or if you wanna work a little bit harder, same arm that's going up overhead, you're gonna drive that knee into your chest. I hope you've started moving because the timer is going. It's okay if you can't tap that weight all the way to the floor behind you. I didn't wanna waste any time. I couldn't find the heavier weights that I wanted, which means I can go at a little bit of a faster pace. But if you've got some real heavy weights and you're working in control, you're not throwing your arm, you might be moving a little bit slower and that's okay. Final work right here. Get those hips high. Yay, you made it. Awesome, let's take a nice shoulder stretch from right down here on the floor. So roll over onto your bellies. Extend those arms out to the side. Bring one hand in towards your chest. You're gonna roll towards that opposite shoulder. It's in line with your hand palm. You can increase the stretch by separating your legs, bringing one knee back, going for a little bit of a clamshell. You can focus on just getting the shoulder that's down on the floor or you can work them both a little bit more at the same time. Inhale your top arm up, bend at the elbow, bring the back of the fingers to your glutes, trace it up your back, and then take that elbow and shoulder and roll it to the back. The more that you rotate onto your side, onto your lower arm, uh, the more you're gonna feel that stretch. Same thing, you can use this top arm, really draw your shoulders away from the ears, feel a little bit more of the stretch in your chest. Work to slow your breath down. Let's take two more slow breaths right here. All right, roll over onto that belly, extend the opposite arm out to the side, walk your other hand in and roll over. You can keep those two legs together. You can be really passive and supported a lot by your front hand in the stretch, but if your shoulder needs, what's happening? If, 
the weights. If your shoulder needs more of a stretch, roll more onto that side. Extend your upper arm to the ceiling, bend at the elbow, draw those fingers up your back, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together, down and back. You're really working to rotate that upper shoulder, armpit area away from the mat. Breathe into the stretch. Make sure you didn't come into the stretch so deeply that it limits your breath. We'll take two more super slow breaths right here. Ooh, I tell you, I'm sweaty. I am sweaty from that workout. All right, slowly roll yourself back over. We're gonna go ahead and extend our arms in front of you. Send your hips back towards your heels. Enjoy some child's pose. You can be as active or passive as you want. If you need a little more active stretch in your shoulders, make some spider hands. Press those finger pads into the floor and then stretch your hips closer towards your heels. If that's not comfortable for your hands, you can just press your hands palms into the floor and stretch your glutes closer towards your heels. You can even bring your elbows by your side if your shoulders are too tired. Or maybe you're so tight you want to bring your hands back to your heels and just allow your upper body to round forward to the mat. All right, walk your hands back for in front of you if you brought them to the back. Take a moment, pull yourself forward, really lift yourself up, pressing your hands, palms into the floor, squeeze your glutes, press your thighs into the floor, find that stretch on your belly. Then go ahead, tuck your toes under, send your hips up to the ceiling, walk your feet in, take that big, generous bend of your knees. Bend one knee and then the other. Shake your head, yes or no. Yes, I'm glad I came. No, don't let it be over. I'm sorry. All right, from here, slowly, gently, roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, both arms up overhead. If we're gonna bend one elbow, take a little tricep stretch. This is all the time that we have today, y'all. I encourage you to find some extra stretches if your body needs them. Inhale your arms back up. Go for your opposite tricep stretch. Maybe as you take a shower after this class, finding some big side bends and reaches in the shower. Inhale both arms up. Exhale, relax, arms down by your side. Whatever you do, thank yourself for coming. I'm so glad you came. I hope that you had a great time. I hope you had an awesome workout. And that I see you again soon. Happy holidays, merry, jolly, yada, yada, yada. Happy upcoming new year. Check you tomorrow.